What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight yet again, and yet again, we are back on Russian Fishing 4. And today, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Beluga Narga versus the Caliber HSV. And we're going to throw in a little bit of Alpha 8000 and a little bit of Gold 80S at the end of those two. This might be a little bit long of a video, but... You're going to get a comparison video for, from me. And to be honest with you guys, I don't do very many of these. So I'm really going to go in deep with this. And uh, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so to start off, I have a few disclosure statements that I usually like to give during these videos, and I'm going to give those in a second, but first I'm going to go ahead and hit the HSV, go here, go ahead and purchase this, because, well, it's just going to make it a little bit easier to do the comparison, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we're going to go ahead and talk about, one, why we are here. Uh, the Ladoga Lake Beluga Narga or Beluga shop here is the one that you want to actually come to when it comes down to repairs and it comes down to all that other different stuff like that. The fact of the matter is, is this place will give you 20% discount when it comes down to your repairs and stuff like that. So if you do decide to go ahead and, and buy the Beluga Narga, unless it has to do with your actual uh, grease, then you're pretty much going to want to actually do all of your repairs here. Okay. It's going to be a little bit cheaper. Uh, you're going to get a 20% discount and everything else like that. So it's going to be a little bit cheaper to do all that stuff here. On top of that, disclosure statements. First, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to compare the Beluga Narga as well as the HSV first. The reason I'm doing this is because, one, I think you guys are going to want to see that first. On top of that, when I start throwing in the Alpha 8000 and the Gold ADS and stuff like that, you'll kind of know exactly what we're actually comparing and, and whatnot. So I think it'll be a little bit easier for you beginners. Second of all, there's one thing that I wasn't able to test. Now, I could have tested it, but honestly, I didn't want to buy three thousand or spend 3,000 silver on an HSV when I didn't need one. I know I just did that, but I am going to sell it actually back to the repair shop, okay? So I'm not actually going to keep it, but I didn't want to actually purchase an HSV to do one video. Um, and basically what that is, is a lot of people believe when it comes down to the reels, if you've got a higher mech weighted reel, then that mech weighted reel ha is tougher. It wears down slower when it comes down to its mech weight and its break. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but I like you guys. I just don't like you that much to spend 3,000 silver on an HSV just to try and, 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 and test that out. From what I know, the only durability that really matters is the star quality that you actually have on your reel. Okay? So when it comes down to like the HSV and the Blue Ganarga, uh, the Gold 80S, I believe, as well. Um, and the alpha they are all four stars so we're going to assume that they are all four stars we're going to assume that they all wear down at the same rate when it comes down to their break and their uh their break and their mech weight and that way it'll be a little bit easier to figure all of this stuff out uh on top of that just because i say one reel is specialized in a certain type of fishing doesn't mean that they all can't do that type of fishing. The fact of the matter is, is the Beluga Narga, HSV, and the Alpha all can pretty much do the exact same type of fishing. It's just that one and the one and another are a little bit more specialized when it comes down to the fishing. One's a little bit more for trolling, one's a little bit more for carp fishing and whatnot, okay? So just because I say that they're specialized doesn't mean you screwed up and you need to go buy a brand new reel. They can pretty much do the same type of fishing. Um, and then mech weight. The Beluga Narga's bread and butter is its mech weight. We need to talk extensively about mech weight, what it is, what it does, how do you find it, all of that other stuff. So to really properly compare the HSV and the Beluga Narga, we need to actually speak of mech weight. We need to talk about what it does. A lot of people believe that mech weight is only about locking your reel, but it's actually not. It does quite a bit of other things too. So we're going to go ahead and talk about that as well. That's pro probably going to be fairly extensive in the video. Then after that, we'll talk about like line capacities and comparing all of that stuff. Okay. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. First of all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go go into the Beluga Narga shop and I'm going to pull up this Beluga Narga that has 10% wear on its mech on its mech weight. What is mech weight? What the hell is it? 
What does it do? I mean, what is it? When you go into your rods, I'm sorry, when you go into your reels, this is all the guts in your reels. One of those guts pieces is your mechanism. Your mechanism has a possibility of being broken in the game. If your line, your leader, or your rod are above the weight limit of your mechanism's weight limit capacity, then you can break your mech if you max out your tension bar. You guys with me so far? Okay, what is your mech's weight limit? That is your mech weight. So if you have a 44 kilogram mech weight like the Beluga Narga, then if you go over 44 kilograms, you're gonna break your mech, okay? Now the way that this actually works is, the higher the mech wear on your mechanism or higher the, the, the wear on your mechanism, the lower your mech weight is going to be. So if I start out with a 44 kilogram mech weight and I have 11.5% wear on my mech, then I'm gonna have 11.5% less mech weight when it comes down to how much weight my mech can take. Once I go over that, I break my mech. You see what I'm saying? Now, the way that this is actually repaired is, um, basically you pay a base cost. If you wanna know what your, your base cost is for your reel, basically you repair your mech, you go out, you fish with it for a little bit, you get 0.1% wear on it, and then you go ahead and try and repair it. That'll tell you what your base cost is. You'll always pay a base cost when you're paying when you're repairing your mech. On top of that, you will pay for the percentage of wear that you have over the top of it. So you'll pay your base cost, then you'll pay your percentage on top of it. Basically, what it comes down to is you're probably thinking to yourself, well, okay, so that means that I want to repair more often than not. That way I can spend less money repairing. So I'm not repairing for the percentage, right? But that's actually wrong. Usually your base cost is fairly expensive. For the Blue Ganarga and the HSV, I believe it's 90 silver for the base cost. So every time you repair it sooner, sooner, excuse me, sooner than later, you're going to be paying that 90 silver. You guys with me so far? Okay, so it's actually cheaper to repair at a higher percentage rate. Now, you're probably asking yourself, well, mate, I'm in a mystic, I'm a beginner, where the hell do I find my mech weight? Well, your mech weight is actually found on two links that I'm gonna put in the description below. The first link is Kilt the Jock's, Jock's webpage. You go to his webpage, you click on the reel section at the top, and then you look for a column that says max drag. Now that is mislabeled a little bit. It should be, it should be called mech weight, but it's called max drag. Um, it has nothing to do with drag. I'm sorry, but it doesn't. So, but that max drag is going to be your mech weight column. And you can just go ahead and look up and down there. He's got quite a few mech weights on there. Some reels he does, some reels he doesn't. But you can usually find your mech weight on there. If you can't find it there, then go over to the second uh, link that I'm going to give you. Hopefully that still works. It is the VK site. Basically, you can compare the max drag or the mech weight column in Kilted Jocks spreadsheet with the VK sites spreadsheet, and you can figure out which column is your mech weight on the VK site. You guys with me? Okay, that's how you can find your mech weight. Now, for example, the mech weight on the Beluga Narga is 44.5 kilograms. I'm gonna, roll, I'm gonna um, round it down to 44 kilograms to make this a little bit easier. The mech weight on the caliber HSV is 31 kilograms, okay? So what is mech weight? What can it actually do for you? And why is why is the Beluga Narga so great with this mech weight? Well, usually when it comes down to Beluga Narga, people that really like to use the Beluga Narga are people who are trollers. They like to go out and they troll a lot, okay? That's what they really truly like when it comes down to the Beluga Narga. And it's mech weight. Well, what advantages does it have and what does mech weight actually do okay so basically <clears throat> let's put up a little bit of a list here first of all line versatility let's say that you've got your caliber which is 31 kilogram mech weight and you've got your blue ganarga which is 44 kilogram mech weight the biggest line that you can use on your caliber is a 28 kilogram line capacity you don't want to go any higher than that. However, with the Beluga Narga, because of its mech weight, you can go all the way up to 40 kilograms. Now, what does that do? That gives you a higher mech weight versatility or a line line weight versatility. You could use anywhere from a 22 kilogram line all the way up to a 40 kilogram line. Now, what does that do for you when you're out actually, you know, on, on the water and stuff like that? Well, let's say that you're using a 40 kilogram line. What you can actually do is you can go a lot longer 
when it comes down to the wear on that line, you can go to 10, 20, even 30% if you wanted to with that line before you have to replace it. That will actually save you money when it comes down to your line. If you don't want to go that big of a line, you can go with like a 36 or a 34 kilogram, and then you can still go higher when it comes down to the wear on your line than if you were to have a 28 or 22 kilogram. Now let's say that that's not something that's important to you. So what's the next thing that does? Well, it makes it so you can go longer without repairing your mech mechanics on your reel. So why is that important? Well, think about it this way. If you're out there with a 28 or 22 kilogram line, with a 28 kilogram line, you can wait until your mech weight does goes all the way up to 30% wear before you repair it. With a 22 kilogram line, you can wait until you have 50% wear on it before you have to repair it. This is pretty spectacular. Why? Because every 10% of wear on your HSV or your Beluga Narga usually takes about a month to a month and a half real life time of hardcore fishing before you get to 10%. So if you're at 30% on your Beluga Narga when it comes down to its mech weight, you've literally gone three months, four months, maybe even five months, depending on how often you use, use the reel, before you have to repair that mech weight. Okay, but with a lower mech weighted reel, you're actually going to have to repair sooner. Okay, now what does this actually do? Well, when you're waiting this long to repair your mech weight, what it actually can do for you is it can save you time in waiting to, for your mechanics to repair. It can also save you money when it comes down to repairing your mech weight. And we'll talk about all of that in a minute. I'll show you how to figure it out and I'll do the comparisons between the Beluga Narga and the HSV. Now, what does this actually mean when it comes down to like locking your brake and stuff like this? A lot of people think it's all about locking your brake, but it's not. It's actually not about locking your brake. At this level, at this tier, I do not suggest ever locking your brake. Even if you've got a huge fat fish that you've, you've, you know, You've worn out and he's just floating in the water. Don't lock your brake because then you're going to accidentally lose it if he turns to side and decides to run. So if he turns and decides to run, you've spent all that time wasting. Don't lock your brake. That's not that's not really what you needed to need need to do at this tier at this level. Okay, so now let's go ahead and compare your caliber HSV with your Beluga Narga, and we're going to do a little bit of a scenario. Okay, we've got both of these both of these reels. All right, we got the HSV and the Beluga Narga. Okay. You've got both of them, you've purchased both of them, and you've decided you're gonna troll with them, and you decide you're gonna put a 28 kilogram line on both, okay? You with me so far? All right, good. Now, what we have to do is we have to figure out what percent of each of these reels we're actually going to be um, repairing at, okay? So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna figure that out. Now, the way I like to figure this out is by 10% increments. Okay, and it's actually pretty easy to do. So here's what we're gonna do. The Beluga Narga has a mech weight of 44 kilograms. The Caliber HSV has a mech weight of 31 kilograms. So first we need to find out what 10% is for our first 10% set of where is going to be. So how do you do that? That's easy. You pretend like you have a decimal point at the end of the, of the mech weight. Then you take that decimal point and you move it one forward. That is it, you're done. For the Beluga Narga, 4.4 kilograms is literally 10% wear on the 44 kilogram mech weight. For the Caliber HSV, 31 kilograms um, turns out to be 10% wear uh, is 33.1 kilograms. So you just move that decimal point one. So 3.1 kilograms is 10% of 31 kilograms. Now, here's what you need to do next. For the Beluga Narga, you take your 44 kilograms, you minus out 44.4 kilograms, which is our 10% wear, equals 39.6 kilograms. For the Caliber HSV, you take your 31 kilograms, you minus out 3.1 kilograms, which is your 10% wear, equals 27.9 kilograms. So let's go back up to the Beluga Narga. Is 39.6 kilograms higher than your 28 kilogram line? Yes, it is, considerably. So do you need to repair it? No, you do not. However, let's drop down to the HSV. Is 27.9% or 27.9 kilograms higher than your 28 kilogram line? No, it is not. It is actually below it. Now you are in the danger zone. Now, if you were to max out your 
your um, your tension bar, you would probably end up breaking your mech weight. So you don't want to do it at 10%. You don't want to repair at 10%. You probably are going to want to repair around 7%, 6 or 7%. So now we've figured out the HSVs, you repair around 6 or 7%. Easy. Now we got to finish off the Beluga Narga. So with the Beluga Narga, we've done 10%. Let's do 20%. How do we do that? We add on an extra 10%. Easy peasy. How do we do that? We take 4.4 kilograms, which is 10% wear and we add it to our first 4.4 kilograms which comes out to 8.8 .8 kilograms so 44 kilograms minus 8.8 .8 .8 kilograms equals 35.2 kilograms <clears throat> excuse me is that still higher than our 28 kilogram line yes it is still significantly do not need to repair let's do it again 30 percent add an extra 10 percent on there 8.8 .8 kilograms plus another 4.4 kilograms equals 13.2 kilograms 44 kilogram mech weight minus four i'm, I'm sorry minus 13.2 kilograms equals 30.8 kilograms is that still higher than our 28 kilogram mech weight yes but we are very very close to our 28 kilogram mech weight so this is where we want to actually repair so with our beluga narga we're going to want to repair at 30 percent which our hsv with our hsv we're going to want to repair at about six or seven percent okay now what does that mean when it comes down to costs and everything else like that well when it comes down to costs what you're going to be looking at is by the time you repair your Beluga Narga once at 30%, you're going to repair your HSV four times at 7%, five times at 6%. Okay, now what exactly does that mean? Well, remember that base cost that I told you about when you're repairing this? Yeah, so if you repair your Beluga Nargas once at 30%, you're just paying the base cost once. Now, I'd like to thank two people for these this information or these numbers. The first one is DJ MTV. He gave us the numbers for the Beluga Narga when it comes down to 30 to 35% wear. I'd also like to thank Epiculus from the MDog Gaming Chat. He's the one that gave us the uh, HSV repair on this. So thanks, guys. I appreciate your information. They were the only two that actually had their reels worn down low enough where I could actually figure this out. So... When it comes down to your Beluga Narga at 30%, you're going to pay around 425 silver. At 35%, it's 465 silver. At 30%, at, um, you're going to pay around 425 silver to repair your mech weight, okay? Or your mechanism. For your HSV, you're going to want to repair it at 7%. Every time you're going to pay 200, 200 to 225. I believe it's at 10%, it's 225. Excuse me, at 200, at 10%, it's 200, uh, two, uh, 225. So at 7%, you're going to spend around 200. You're going to be repairing it four times by the time you repair your Beluga Nargas once. What does that equal to? Well, when it comes to cost, 200. 400, 600, 800. You're going to spend 800 silver to repair your caliber, HSV, by the time you pay, by the time you repair your Beluga Narga once. On top of that, when it comes down to time, usually with the Beluga Narga, this says one day, four hours. Um, I think when you get up to 30%, it'll take about two days. So with the Beluga Narga HSV, it's going to take, we'll say about an hour and a half. We'll say about two hours. Okay. Max. So with the Beluga Narga, you're going to end up spending, you're going to repair it once two hours with the caliber HSV. You're going to pair, repair it four times. So that's two, four, six, eight hours. So an extra six hours that you're going to be waiting when it comes down to the HSV. Now, if it's actually only about a hundred, uh, an hour and a half, it's going to be a little bit less, but you're going to end up waiting overall more time, the more often that you repair your caliber HSV. Now, I know some of you are jumping into the game saying, look, Mystic's put up a brand new video where he says the Blue Ganarga is actually cheaper when it comes down to repairing than the caliber HSV. Don't do that because I'm not done yet. Okay, you're going to save about 400 silver when it comes down to repairing your, your Beluga Narga when it comes down to the mech weight versus the caliber HSV. You'll probably save about six hours of wait time. However, 
When you go in to repair your friction brake, it's a different story. Your caliber HSV is going to cost you 80 silver. Your Beluga Nargit is going to cost 176. It's going to be 90 silver more. Now, it's going to take about five, around five to six repairs on your friction brake for your Beluga Narga versus your caliber HSV. But after that five or six repairs, you're going to end up eating through the savings that you just had by repairing the mech once compared to four times with the caliber. Five times with the caliber if you're repairing it at 6%. You see what I'm saying? So you'll go probably about five or six repairs because with the Blue Ganarga, you'll be you'll be trolling, you'll be able to play with the brake a little bit more, so it'll wear down a little bit slower because you're able to play with the brake, but you'll go about five or six repairs before you eat up all of that savings that you saved with your mech repair. So once that savings has been eaten, eaten up, that four hours has been, or that four, I'm sorry, that 400 silver has been eaten up, then it's going to cost you around 90 silver more to repair your friction brake. So this is where you need to start asking yourself, okay, what's more important to me, the long run savings or the short run savings? Is the immediate savings of the friction brake on the caliber more important to me? Or is the mech weight and its line versatility and everything else more important to me on the Beluga Nart? Okay. So that's basically what it comes down to when it comes down to comparing the Beluga Narga's mech weight and the Caliber HSV's mech weight. With the Beluga Narga, you're going to have much bigger line, line versatility. It's very, very, very good for trolling. And you're going to be able to save time and save money on repairing the mech. However, you're going to end up spending more money in the long run, about 90 silver, after about five or six repairs of your Beluga Narga's uh, break compared to your caliber HSVs. Does that make sense? Hopefully I'm not confusing you guys too much. Last but not least, I want to talk about something real quick when it comes down to the Blue Ganarga and the HSV. We're pretty much done with the mech weight. Everybody stand up, go smoke them if you got them, take a poop, relax, take a shower. I know that was that was a lot of information, but that's basically your 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 comparison when it comes down to your Beluga Narga and your HSV's mech weight. Now we can go ahead and start off with this. We're going to first start off with price. 3000 This is not right. Down at um down at Volkov River it's 2800 for the caliber HSV. I believe, unless they've changed it recently, see, recently, which I don't believe they did, but with the Beluga Narga, it is out of stock. It is 3,000 silver. Now, I'm going to try and talk about this without raging on the devs for a minute. The Beluga Narga used to be 2,600, uh, 2,400 silver. The Caliber HSV used to be 2,600 silver. The Caliber about 10 updates ago or something like that was raised from 2,600 to 2,800. However, for some stupid reason, the devs decided to raise the Beluga Narga from 2,400 silver all the way freaking up to 3,000 silver. So a lot of people will look at that 3,000 silver mark and go, oh my goodness gracious, that's a lot. I'm just going to go for the HS HSV. So it's kind of a boon against the the Cal, the the beluga narga but in my opinion these two need to be priced the same the beluga narga i don't know why the price was raised by 600 silver and the hsvs is only 200 it's kind of ridiculous but it is what it is what can you do right okay so when it comes down to cost your hsv is going to be 200 silver less but that's only about one or two hours of fishing if you're in a good spot so that's not really that big of a deal all right, so let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the really good stuff when it comes down to these reels. We're going to talk about what makes the HSV the HSV. What is its bread and butter? To start off with, the gear ratio of the HSV is 4.7 to 1. The gear ratio of the Beluga Narga is 4.3 to 1. This means that the Caliber HSV is going to be a faster reel. Now, if I was able to put a side-by-side -side shot screenshot up of these two being reeled in, and we'll say at a 100, a 100 meter clip, the HSV is going to pull in 
the bait or the fish or whatever faster. It's that simple. But when it comes down to this, it's really hard to compare these two because it depends on what type of player you are. The HSV at a hundred meter clip is probably going to be around 29 seconds, maybe a little bit faster than that to pull in all of that line. The blue Ganarga is going to be around 30, 32 seconds, something like that. But when it comes down to this, like I said, this is all about the player. Some people believe that it's better to have a higher gear ratio because it's a faster reel. A faster reel means you reel in faster fish. You reel in faster fish, you get more fish per hour, you get more fish per hour, you make more money. That's true, but it's not that much when it comes down to how close these two reels are. On top of that, if you're somebody who likes a lower gear ratio because you don't want to have a lot of back spooling when it comes down to your spool and you're fighting a big fat bodied fish, then the lower gear ratio is more more towards more geared <laughs> towards you i personally like the lower gear ratio because that way i know that i'm as low as i can be with a very very big fat bodied fish that i don't have to worry about back spooling very much however because these are so close together the gear ratio on the caliber isn't so fast that you're going to start getting a whole bunch of back spooling. It's actually really, really nice, and it's actually fine with where it's set at. So this really depends on the player. In my opinion, you can't really compare these two. Next, let's talk about the max drag. The max drag is 15.5 kilograms on the caliber HSV. The Beluga Nargit is a max drag of 14.5 kilograms. This is where the caliber HSV starts to come into its own. Plain and simple. If you were to look at two fish and you were to see them on your screen and one was on the Beluga Narga, one was on the caliber and you were able to see their stamina bar and instead of a bar you were seeing numbers that were counting down. The caliber HSV fish would, their stamina bar would be going down faster. Plain and simple, that's just what it is. A lot of people will look at this and go, well, it's only one kilogram more. It's not just one kilogram more. It's one kilogram more of constant, constant pressure on that fish, bringing that number down faster, bringing that stamina down faster. It's two pounds more pressure on that fish, stopping that fish. Now, is this going to cut your fight time in half over the Beluga Narga? Absolutely not. Is it gonna cut it down by a quarter? No, absolutely not. It's going to cut your fight time around 6 to 7% faster with the Caliber HSV than the Beluga Narga. So if that is something that's very, very important to you, then you might start looking into the Caliber HSV. So in the end, when it comes down to it, yes, the Caliber HSV will be faster, but it's only about 6 to 7% when it comes down to how much faster it is. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, that one, that one kilogram is going to make it so I can pull in a fish twice as fast. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's about six to seven percent. Uh, let's go ahead and look next at the line capacity. Here's the line capacities of your blue Ganarga. Okay. Here are your line capacities of your caliber HSV. When it comes down to it, at this diameter right here, your caliber HSV is going to have about 30 more meters of line. The second one here is going to be about 40 more meters. The third one is going to be about 50 more meters. When you drop down to a 0 0.30 millimeter diameter line, it's going to be about 60 millimeters or 60 millimeters of line more. When you drop down to a 0.28 millimeter diameter line, you're going to be looking at about 70 to 75 meters more. I have played this game enough to know that sometimes the difference between you standing still on the bank and pulling in a fish, wearing it out and pulling it in, and you running down the bank trying to pull in just enough line to finish wearing out that fish can be between 50 to 75 more meters. The caliber has that when it comes down to your lower diameters, okay? this These two things, the max drag and the line capacity are what is the caliber's bread and butter. Plain and simple, period. Okay, this is what gives the caliber its bread and butter. Why? Because one, you're going to slow the fish down six to seven percent faster and stop it and wear it out faster, and you're going to have anywhere from 50 to 75 more meters of line. This is why the caliber HSV is more preferred for beginners at Amber Lake. 
You get to stand on the be uh, on the beach on the bank. You're going to have more line capacity, which is going to give you more line, more time to wear out that fish and 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 wear it down. And you're going to be wearing it out faster with a pow more powerful drag max drag. This is why a lot of people really truly love the Caliber HSV for carp fishing. Okay, I'm not saying it can't troll. It can absolutely troll, but it's more preferred for carp fishing. I'm not saying the blue ganarga cannot carp fish because it can. I highly suggest if you do decide to carp fish with a blue ganarga, use a 22 kilogram line, specifically the snake braided green, but it's more specified for uh, trolling. The caliber HSV is really loved by beginners for amber lake and this is its bread and butter right here and that is why ladies and gentlemen that is the comparison between the beluga narga and the caliber hsv it comes down to this are you a troller or are you a carp fisherman if you're a troller you might want to go with a couple of eight uh, beluga nargas if you're a mainly carp fishing fisherman you might want to go with three hsvs if you're both, you may want to go with two Beluga Nargas and one HSV or two HSVs and one Beluga Narga. It's really up to you. The fact of the matter is, is they all can, both of these can fish for the same fish. It's just that the Beluga Narga is a little bit more specialized in trolling and the caliber HSV is a little bit more specialized in carp fishing. Okay, so hopefully that helps out. Now, we need to talk about the Alpha 8000. Ladies and gentlemen, get up. Pause the video. Go take a poop. Light them if you got them. Have grab a beer. We're gonna start in on the eight on the Alpha Eight Thousand. I'm gonna be a little bit rude about this. I bounce around in a lot of different chats. Okay. And every now and then I'll hear somebody say something dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a little bit rude. I know, but I every now and hear uh, now and then I'll hear somebody say the Alpha's garbage don't buy one just buy the beluga narga or the caliber hsv if you hear that or you read that you know not to listen to them when it comes down to reels anymore because that is not true the alpha is a fantastic reel plain and simple now what exactly is the alpha in my opinion the alpha is the beluga narga's little brother it's that simple okay it's got the capabilities of the beluga narga to start off with it is a four star quality reel plain and simple it's got just as much quality as the other two all right the gear ratio on it is 5.2 to 1 now this is something in my opinion is actually a really good thing for the alpha because this thing is a monster for Cory lake for volkov river you can even use it out at tunguska river okay just like you can use the, the Beluga Narga out of Tendagusa River, okay? The gear ratio on it, however, is faster, which means it's the fastest out of all three of the reels, which means if you're using it to pick up smaller fish, you know, Arctic char, um, <clears throat> Arctic char, light salmon, uh, pike, asp, stuff like that on Volkov River, uh, the, the all of the different types of trout and everything that are on Quarry Lake, this bad boy will pull them in faster and you can get a considerable amount more fish per hour because of how high the gear ratio is. In my opinion, this is actually really good. However, I have had mixed information given to me by people that talk about Amber Lake with this. Some people tell me, oh yeah, I've had no problem pulling in a trophy 35 kilogram leather or mirror carp with no back spooling whatsoever. And then I've had the exact same situation with other people saying, yeah, I pulled in a mirror carp or a leather carp, 35 kilograms trophy. I had a little bit of back spooling. I noticed a little bit more back spooling with the alpha over the, the Beluga Narga and the Caliber HSV. So that tells me that the gear ratio of this is actually right there on the fence. 35 kilograms probably be okay. 37 kilograms might start getting a little bit of, of back spooling, but it absolutely can carp fish on Amber Lake and Bear Lake. You just want to make sure that you use a 22 kilogram line with it, preferably the snake braid green. The mech weight on the Alpha 8000 is 38 kilograms. Now you see why I call it the Beluga Narga's little brother. The Beluga Narga is 44 kilograms. The Caliber HSV is 31 kilograms. The Alpha is 38 kilograms. This is actually great because it's right in between. Okay? So that's why I call it the Beluga Narga's little brother. On top of that, the max drag of this reel is 14.5 kilograms. Does that sound familiar to any of you guys? I, I, I think it does. 
maybe? Oh, that's right. It's the same as the Beluga Narga. Okay, so basically when it comes down to the alpha, the alpha can actually fish when it comes down to its drag weight. It can fish anywhere the Blue Ganarga can. Okay, it absolutely can do Tunguska. Okay, they both can. The Blue Ganarga and the alpha. Um, they absolutely can do Amber Lake. Okay, no problem. Um, just like I said, with those two, you want to make sure that you use a 22 kilogram snake braided line. <clears throat> when it comes down to the line capacity, this is where you're going to have a lower amount when it comes down to your line capacity. 286 meters at 30.32 millimeters. Now, here is my here is my secret when it comes down to the bread and butter of Amber Lake. You need two things. You need to have the max drag proper, which is 14.5 kilograms or higher, and you need to have close to 300 meters of line plus. That is what is successful on Amber Lake, even as a beginner with these reels, okay? So with this, you're looking at 0.32, you're looking at 286 meters. If you go up to a 0 0.30 or a 0.28, which is around, I believe, a 22 kilogram line, you're going to get that 300 meters, which means you can absolutely use the Alpha to do some carp fishing on Amber Lake as a beginner. Would I suggest replacing it as quickly as you can? Yes, I would. Same thing with the HSB, same thing with the Beluga Narga. But you absolutely can do this with the Alpha. And anybody says, the, oh, the Alpha's garbage, they don't know what they're talking about. It's a fantastic reel. But what is its best attribute? It is the gear ratio and it is the cost. Now, down at, um, down at Volkov River, I believe it's 2,300 silver. This is a very cheap reel for a beginner that has the same capabilities of the Beluga Narga as well as the as the um, the Caliber HSV. Okay, same star quality, same max drag, a little bit higher gear ratio, a, a, a well a good enough line capacity to be doing what they do as well. So anybody that says, no, oh, this is a garbage reel, they don't know what they're talking about. And for beginners at 2,300 silver, that is fantastic. That is what, nine, 700 silver less than the Beluga Narga and 500 silver less than the Caliber HSV. So if you're a brand new player and you're looking at that Beluga Narga and that Caliber HSV and going, oh my God, I don't want to make 2,800 silver. I don't want to make 3,000 silver. You can start off with this. It is a fantastic, fantastic reel. And on my secondary account, I'm going to be buying one of these pretty soon. Okay. All right. Here's a little break from the inventory screen. That is what I think of the Alpha. It is a fantastic reel, and anybody that tells you different doesn't know what they're talking about. Last but not least is the gold. I, Like I said before, I bounce around in a lot of different chats, and recently I've been hearing somebody, some people say that the gold 80S is better than the Alpha 8000, the Beluga Narga, and the Caliber HSV. In my opinion, this is absolutely not true. In my opinion, the Gold ADS is half a step down from the Alpha, the Narga, and the Caliber HSV. Why? Because of all of its stats. Plain and simple, its stats on paper just aren't there. Now, right off the bat, a lot of people are starting to type in the chat, oh, I love my Gold ADS, it's fantastic, blah, blah, blah. I understand that. And that's awesome, guys. But the fact of the matter is, is you cannot look at this and tell me that it is better than the other three. Plain and simple. The Gold ADS is a fantastic beginner rod. It is a monster for Cory Lake. Way more than you need for Cory Lake. But it's a very fast reel for Cory Lake. The gear ratio for Cory Lake would be amazing at 5.7. This gear ratio is amazing for Cory Lake because you can pull those fish in so fast. It's a fantastic reel for Volkov. It'll work for Volkov River. A lot of the smaller fish you can pull in very, very quickly. You could even use it up on Tunguska if you wanted to. If you were okay with letting the fish run around and wear itself out more often and understanding that you're going to spend more time trying to wear out the fish, then you can actually use this on Tunguska. It is a fantastic re reel. It really is a great one. There's a lot of people that absolutely have them and absolutely love them. They are fantastic reels. I'm not knocking it whatsoever. But to say this is better than the other three is just kind of ridiculous. 
The max drag is 14 kilograms, which means it's 0.5 kilograms lower than the Beluga Narga and the Alpha. It's one and a half kilograms lower than the Caliber HSV. The line capacity on it is the smallest line capacity out of all four. However, when you drop this down to 0.30 millimeters and 0.28 millimeters, you're going to get very close to 300 meters. However, because your max drag is a little bit lower, this is something that makes me very, very nervous. Your line capacity is there for amber, but your max drag is a little bit low. You could probably get in the main middle pond when it comes down to Amber Lake and be absolutely fine. You could probably do pretty well down at Bear Lake with this as well. But once you get out in the main lake, I wouldn't go any higher than the 22 kilogram um, snake braided green line and you're going to be able to catch probably about 80 95 percent of your fish and then eventually you'll hook into a trophy that'll probably pretty come pretty close to spooling you you can use it but in my opinion it's more built for trolling especially for quarry especially for volkov river um it is a fantastic beginner reel it really is one of the great things about this reel is it's 2100 silver it is a fantastic cheap reel if you wanted to go hot and heavy for Quarry Lake, this would be the reel to go with because it's fairly high, but it's not looking as high as your Beluga Narga, your Caliber, and your Alphas, but it's still fairly high, and you can pull in fish very quick with that high gear, gear ratio. But overall, it's just not better when it comes down to the other three. It's max drag, or it's, I'm sorry, it's mech weight is... 32 kilograms it's only one kilogram above the caliber hsv so i'm not really sure why people are saying this is better than the other three it's obviously not on paper at least the mech weight isn't really super high or anything else like that i wouldn't go above a 28 kilogram line in fact i wouldn't use a 28 kilogram line ever on it i would use probably a 22 kilogram line on a constant basis with it it is a fantastic beginner's reel especially for Corey and volkov but above that i probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't be dealing with it. In the end, Alpha and the Narga specialized a little bit more into trolling. The um, the Gold 80S as well. Um, I would stay a little bit lower on Volkov River and um, Corey Lake with that one. When it comes down to Caliber HSV, Amber Lake is absolutely fine. You can also troll with it as well. Um, you can also carp fish with Beluga Narga and Alpha as well if you want to do that. If you're looking for beefy high mech weighted reels that you can go very long long times with um you're probably looking at the blue ganarga or the alpha if you want to go with a a reel that is kind of a powerhouse it slows the fish down it has you know a higher max drag it has a higher line capacity it's more forgiving it gives you more time to wear out fish when you're on the bank and you're carp fishing and stuff like that and it's got more power to slow them down then the caliber hsv is going to be the one for you okay hopefully you guys learned something hopefully i didn't ramble too much 45 minute video hopefully that's not too long for you guys if you like the video hit the like button please consider hitting that like button the fact of the matter is, is it helps with the youtube algorithm i'm um, sorry i haven't put out a video for a while but it is what it is uh keep gaming keep doing it midnight have a blast we'll see you guys in the next episode take care have a good one and bye bye